Ladies and gentlemen, your new Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlog. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about what am I going to do next for the vlog? You know, the last two vlogs, I got to say thank you guys because you guys have knocked the views out of the water. By the time this goes out, I'll probably have hit 10,000 followers, which was what my goal was. So now the new goal is going to be 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And I, you know, have been focused on how do I follow up these two amazing vlogs you know should i go for quality over quantity should i be putting out vlogs every week but just because i haven't put out a vlog in three weeks doesn't mean we haven't been doing stuff i've been doing interviews i had a voice acting gig i've got some great stuff from the fans in the p.o box and of course i've been wrestling and we uh got to wrestle last weekend in montana you know and i've wrestled in 27 states now and you always want to knock off new states off the list. You eventually want to hit all 50 states. And so I'm proud of that. And I got some clips from that. And this weekend, we're going back to Iowa for 3XW to uh, fight for the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. So hopefully, by the end of this vlog, you'll see your boy with some gold. So let me show you guys what we've been up to and then get ready for that big trip to Iowa. <laughs> hey, and real quick, before we get to the Montana trip that happened this past weekend, I wanted to show off. Some really cool gifts I got from a member of the Fire Nation, Topher Jinx. He sent me a P.O. box. If you've been watching some of my Twitch streams, you might have seen this live. But we got this super dope, super dope soccer kit. And it's got mask all over it. It's green, which is also my favorite color. So this was such a cool gift. We also got to add the second pop figure into the Avatar collection with Zuko. And finally, I'm not even a huge Star Wars guy. I do enjoy The Mandalorian. My kids love Baby Yoda. And he got me the N1 Starfighter Lego set. It also has Grogu inside the ball as well as Mando here. Uh, we got a couple other people in the front. But man, me and my kids built this together. And what a fun experience. I'm not a huge Lego guy. But, you know, sitting down with my three girls and really, like, putting the pieces together to the Starfighter was so incredibly cool. And something I think I'm going to do more in the future to bond with the kiddos. So, shout out Topher Jinx. If you guys want to send me stuff, P.O. Box in the description below. And then we've also got to do a Busted Open radio interview, if you guys aren't familiar. Dave LaGreca, Mark Henry, Tommy Dreamer, Bully Ray. A bunch of great names in wrestling have a Sirius XM radio channel where they do a radio show about wrestling uh, every day during the week. And they had me on last Monday and, you know, let me talk my talk and, and say how I feel post AEW. I, I, I see you being a, a, a player, Frigo. Uh, I think that, you know, you're on the right path. Like you said, you got thick skin. You got a lot of confidence. You can talk the talk and walk the walk. The walk. There's a lot of wrestlers out there that's listening to you right now. And uh, there's a lot of bookers and promoters that listen to this show that, that might say, shit, I like that guy. And, and um, I mean, just hearing you, the passion right now, man, that's that we, we used to do a get over Monday. I think this is back. Get over Monday is back because you, you just got over with me. Validating, validating the guys you look up to, guys you watch growing up. People that, you know, know, people that have done real successful things in this business believe in you. It means the world. And Mark Henry, I can't thank you enough. And then we've also got a voice acting gig doing something with the Luchador podcast for season two. I'll put up a little graphic of that. So we've been filming some stuff for that. I got a small role. But just to to spread my wings, show my versatility, do some different things. I feel like I'm one of the ultimate entertainers in wrestling, and I can do it all. Hosting, acting, voice acting, wrestling, most importantly. Let me tell you about this crazy Montana trip. I had to drive two hours to Dallas to then fly to Minneapolis to then fly to North Dakota and then drive three hours from North Dakota into Montana because this is a very secluded area. You don't have a lot of wrestling in Montana. However, the drive, the scenery, the view was gorgeous. Check out this Montana trip.
my goodness. Here in Montana with these awesome guys right here. They helped put on the show last night. Darby, Tanner. Man, so cool. Never wrestled in Montana before. We checked it off the list. But this is this is why you come. This is why you come. Look at this. Like I said, it's just the epitome of majestic right there. Absolutely. Epitome of majestic. Look at that. Hell yeah. This is cool. Time to end it all. <laughs> oh, you're fine. What a cool shop. You like comics? I love it all. Let's do it. Montana was a blast, dude. I loved it. I didn't have some great footage, but I had enough footage to show you guys some of the fun stuff that went down in Montana. It was very rewarding to wrestle in a new state, to, to hold a new crowd that you never performed in front of in the palm of your hand, you know, and have them reacting the way you want them to react. It's validating, reassuring, you know, makes me feel good about myself. Uh, and then out of nowhere to get put in a 3XW heavyweight championship match. You know, I got to do 3XW last month. Y'all saw some clips of that on the first vlog I put out post AEW. And now to go back, hopefully, we can bring home some gold. So let's get to it. We got to fly from Dallas up to uh, Des Moines, Iowa. And then we're driving an hour over to the show. Hopefully, next time, you won't call me Fuego Del Sol. You'll be calling me Fuego Del Gold. Because I'll have that title belt in my arms. Baby, I had to jump on the vlog, get my boy JJ yeah, in the vlog. Y'all know what it is, Star Signer, baby, aka JJ Group. It's coming back, it's coming you know what I'm saying? Hell it's coming yeah. back. It's, coming. it's good to see you, baby. You Keep too, doing your bro. thing, dude. Yeah, you too, always am happy when you pop up on my feed. You Keep doing tonight, your thing. Dude. I appreciate yeah. you, baby. New champ, yeah. new champ. Yeah. Somebody book this, somebody book this match right here, yeah. Yeah. right here, baby. Appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all. It's about to be a wrap here, 3XW. Brand new champion. Nice little, nice little handprint right there. Ugh. Listen, guys, don't. It's 1226. I need to shower. Um, freaking 3XW here in uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. We just made an hour drive back to Des Moines because that's where I'm flying out of. But, but look at this, baby. Look at this. Look at this beautiful championship maybe the first title that i've won in years like probably four or five years and uh i'm real proud of it because i wasn't expecting it i didn't even know i was in a championship match to last week then i get in a match with a, a really great independent wrestler around her name jeremy wyatt and 
former NXT and TNA NWA superstar James Storm. And I ended up winning the 3XW Heavyweight Champion. And, you know, even though it was unexpected, I'm going to wear this bad boy with pride. I'm going to defend it. And I'm, I'm honored. I'm honored that a company thinks so much of me. that They put me in championship matches. They let me represent this company. And so I plan to do it well. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of my effort. I'm proud of the way I bounced back from this injury and from being released from AEW. Montana was awesome last week. And now, you know, things just keep getting better. Things just keep looking up. So looking at the champ, put some respect on my name. I'm about to go shower, get naked, sleep next to this beautiful title. Real quick before we call this a vlog, I wanted to touch on something that's been on my heart. Uh, this past weekend, we lost the legend, Terry Funk, and then we tragically lost Bray Wyatt, Wyndham Rotunda, who passed way too soon at 36 years old. And it got me thinking, and it put a lot of things in perspective for me, because, you know, Wyndham Rotunda, Bray Wyatt, was a father of four kids, and as a father of three, it, it broke my heart to see to just, uh, man, as a father of three, seeing the passing of Bray, knowing that he's leaving three kids behind, it, it broke my heart. Sometimes you get so caught up in the stress of life that you don't get a chance to smell the roses. You don't get a chance to really take it all in, to live in the moment. And within a blink of an eye, it could all be over. So I don't want to take that for granted. You know, the past two weekends, I got to wrestle in Montana and then win a championship. And post AEW, I didn't know what the world was going to look like for me. You know, I've been testing the waters everywhere, but to get validation from your heroes, to see the fans still wanting and, and wanting you to succeed and believing in you. It reassures me. It validates all the work I've been putting in. And it makes me just very happy, man. I have this overwhelming sense of gratitude, overwhelming sense of happiness because I've been enjoying the moments more. I've been enjoying the crowd, and the reactions more. I've been enjoying the friendships you make along the way and really diving into those and not taking anything in this life for granted. So I just implore you to do the same. Uh, sending all my thoughts, prayers, and good vibes to the families of the lost legends that we that are unfortunately no longer with us. We got some big things coming up too, and I'm not taking that for granted. I'm working very hard for everybody that believes in me. For everybody, this will just be the first championship of many. This will... Uh, this is just the beginning of the great things that are going to happen for Fuego Del Sol this year. And if you're long for the ride, I appreciate you. I'm so incredibly passionate about pro wrestling. And being in that ring and hearing the crowd and meeting all the fans is something that I truly, truly enjoy. It brings a smile to my face. And I want to continue to do that for as long as I possibly can and enjoy every moment of it. Because it can be gone in a blink of an eye. So, if it's something you're interested in, check out the Patreon. If you don't want to wait till next week's vlog to see this beautiful face, make sure you jump into one of my live Twitch streams throughout the week and jump in the Discord because we're building a cool community there. I'll be back because I'm betting on myself and driving up to Chicago for a couple shows. So there will be a vlog next week, and I cannot wait to show you what's going to happen there because it's going to be a banger. Love you all. Thank you all. Don't take life for granted. And the champ will see you next week. Fuego